Look, I found the button. My mom's probably very happy about that. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm Ricardo. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. And threads. Thank you to everybody. Can't call it Twitter anymore. You got to call it X. Patreon. Follow us for our stupid Twitter account. Call it X. Button. You know that X is the letter that was used in early Christendom for centuries to denote the Messiah? Tells you what Elon thinks about himself. <laughs> You are obsessed with talking about Elon. Uh, today. <laughs> How are you still on Twitter with that ass owning it? You're on Facebook. It's now you're X. I'm on, sorry. You're not all, Twitter. You're also on Instagram with Mark Zuckerberg. I, if I have to choose between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. One try to overthrow an election one. Yeah. Uh, today, we got a uh, glimpse of Kanguva with Surya. What? Uh, what? A glimpse of Kanguva. What? With Surya. What? Uh, we've seen, I think it was a title announcement of this a couple months ago, and we really enjoyed that it went, a Kanguva! Remember that one? I do. Uh, that's what I remember, but this is now, it's a two minute, 21 second glimpse. Okay, let's stop. Nope. Oh. First look. All of these terms preview. now. Preview. Then you could do a teaser and a, and a trail. <sighs> <sighs> Gotta keep the buzz up. Yeah, whatever. Not everybody can have the uh, Barbie uh, uh, budget of oh. uh, marketing. Or the success, man. By the way, have you... Well, I know you're not going to go see it in theater, so... Unfortunately. Well, I I, I, I'm, I looked to try to get tickets to see Oppenheimer in IMAX 70 millimeter. Yeah. Every showing in every theater that has it between now and two weeks from now is sold out unless you want to sit on the front row. Maybe. It's it is unbelievable. There hasn't been a uh, a movie um, week movies like this in years. I feel like that's yeah, no, been, not that, not that two films like that. Cinematic events, both yeah. of them, and they they're both going way beyond expectations. Oh, yeah. Barbie destroyed. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Great. Yeah, I wish. Uh, yeah. I might I might go see it when I'm uh, out of town. Um, but today, yes, we got a, a, a the glimpse of Kanguva. Good. And Surya. That is all I know. Let's, Let's do it. Let's check it out. Let's see the glimpse. That's a cool shot. Oh, oh. 
Well, damn. I, I was doing everything I could to contain myself so that I could save it all for the end. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if you check my testosterone levels right now, they've quadrupled. <laughs> wow, that made me want to just go fight and kill and stomp <laughs> and scream and yes. be barbaric. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was... Uh, the, Woo! The way these, Bring that on. The way these Indian films oh. are now um, promoting their films with like... Because I, I think... That was badass. It, I mean, I guess uh, we were wrong in the animal because the director did say that was a in the film, even though it didn't look like something that would be in the film. And uh, maybe a lot of the I it, like the last part definitely looked like it was in the film, like in terms of like his actual look. But a lot of the teaser itself didn't look like it would be something that would be in the film. They kind of just made this for yeah, for like a, a glimpse kind of thing. I just it's burned in my head the the originality of that establishing moment coming straight in with the credits dropping down to all of that going yeah, on on the ground that was awesome and then coming up the, everything about it a couple of minute tiny little nothing to be upset about cgi yeah, things that I didn't notice the CGI. made it obvious it was a cgi thing yeah even if it's not cleaned up totally forgivable because the originality the score the look of everything else that fit was just absolutely fantastic yeah the score was awesome again oh my uh, so stars I'm very much looking forward to the the, the music for this because now with the uh <gasps> title announcement and then oh. this the score has really impressed both times uh so that'll be really really f did we i i was so pumped I didn't notice anything at the end in terms of... 2024, we... early 2020. Okay. Yeah, Studio looks really cool. Uh... Uh, it sucks I have to wait that long for this. What a really, really freaking cool trailer that was. I know it's a glimpse. I guess what well, they it, differentiate... Because the trailer, it kind includes of... Includes footage. Footage right. and also like the overwhelming theme. Like you'll be like, I can kind of get... Getting a, an idea of the film. Idea of the film. Right. This is like... This is this giving is you an a, idea. It's giving you a glimpse yeah. of what the idea is. It's giving you a feeling for what this is going to be rather than giving they you should footage. Just call it, they should just call it a vibe. That's next. Yeah. Uh, first vibe. First vibe. <laughs> I think vibe would be better. I agree. <laughs> he looks awesome. He yeah. kind of actually gives me like um, that, that Vikram film that's also coming out, except that I think that one's a much smaller, more intimate film, uh, but where he looks like very tribal kind of, um, right? That's what his look gives me. I'm expecting him to eat those he vanquishes. It's just... So uh, when he screamed, which clearly gave the signal for everyone behind him to fire those fiery arrows, was... I love this thing. Yeah, it's, it looked awesome. It also, shout out to... because Even though if it's not in the film, who knows? Maybe it is. They still had to film it. And so the chore choreography to get everybody where they needed to be and moving on the ground and everything Looking like great. that is and the film work. So I'm guessing either they did a drone or it was a or is a crane, a large crane over uh all those people. Yeah, and it looked like it was potentially a seamless edit from a fully CGI generated crane shot or drone yeah to real footage to make it look like it was one shot. Either way, it was fantastic. I loved the fiery torch going through and going out. But then, while he lays there, and the blood, the going blood up. gushing up and out. Good night. I'm, I'm, I'm just making a note to self here. To uh, yeah, it's so I, I don't know what the full thing's going to be about, but it looks awesome. Uh, also, now, so like this is we don't know a lot about Surya. We, we saw the Surya film with about the planes which we we did not enjoy the film but like we enjoyed he was good in it so we enjoyed him um but is he known for because now because he has that character at the end of vikram uh, rolex right What's yeah the name which good night good good memory looked yeah looked awesome looked great made us excited for the next vikram now you got this which looks like a really interesting kind of character is he known for these kind of interests or is just kind of like a new thing since obviously um, big budget 
in terms of like what they can do now in India yeah, with yeah. with VFX and, and production. I, I feel it's already there. So what I'm saying so is it's not being filmed in ten languages too. I saw that. What I'm about to say isn't going to be some great prognostication or, or prediction because it's already here and many have said it way before I'm saying it. But um, based on the changes that have been happening, not just in CGI but in the industry itself and what draws people to movie theaters. It's very obvious that everyone is looking to be huge, yeah. experiential. It's why the IMAX 70 millimeters are completely sold out for the next two weeks for Oppenheimer because people want to see it the way Nolan intended it from the outset. His intention was that. Um, Tom Cruise's intentions with Maverick and Mission Impossible will make a spectacle for the big screen. The, I hope we see, uh, in addition to it, a resurgent of high caliber mm. film festival, independent circuit types of artistic expressions that are experiential about the human experience. But I think it's very clear that the immediate future of movie theater experiences are this, and it's why not just directors, producers, and writers are creating this, but stars like Prabhas, stars like Topeka, Steven, you know, we're, we're seeing them involved in these mass, mass films that basically the door, the door started to get blown open for it when CGI allowed you to do things like the Lord of the Rings, Avatar, Bahubali, but now after COVID, the things that are bringing people to theater are the juggernauts. Yeah. The I spectacles, am. the visual you know with the exception of i guess barbie but i mean i it's it, a visual it, treat i've heard it's it's a spectacle in a different way in a different way not like right. a big action film spectacle it's, it's like right <laughs> i haven't seen it. i just i do hope that people will still continue to want to support and see the rom-coms and well, they haven't the made dramas this is like one of the and, first big comedies that's been a huge hit for and it's now the biggest hit of the year yeah it's it's just <laughs> huge uh, i i i and I, I do want to see it. I still want to see Oppenheimer first, but I do. I, I've always wanted to see Barbie. Um, but it's, on IMDb, it says April 2024. A warrior in the 1678 dies due to a disease in the present. Oh, so maybe a, mm. a, a reincarnation and story. A, well, or a, in the present, a girl does research on the disease which killed the warrior in 1678. That's a, that's that's not, a really bizarre. I don't think that's official. There was a disease, and somebody in the current day. Uh, I don't even want to know that he dies. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a terrible log line. That's not even a log line. It's I, just a IMDb, flat statement. As you statement. guys know, is usually just piece of crap for it's terrible anything for other Indian than Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, it really is. Um, anyways, that looked awesome. I can't wait for more. Uh, the so many spectacle so much good to say about that coming out now and like the, the amount of good glimpses and teasers and that uh, we've had recently like salar jawan uh this project k project k like so many big indian films that look really really good yeah uh, who obviously remains to be seen whether they are good obviously we will have to find that out but it's 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 cool because when you start making stuff like that, even though that's obvious, I don't think what needs to be for sure known by the rest of the world because there's so many great things. Yeah. Other than big action films. Yeah. But that also gets people like RRR. Gets people to notice. It first. does. And and it's... <laughs> India is without question. Always has been. They just don't get the notoriety for it. They are the, the largest contributor to cinema in the world. Mm -hmm. And they put out every kind of film on a scale and quantity unlike any other place in the world. Yeah. I, I just, the amount of films that come out when you include all the industries, Hollywood puts out about as much as one industry in India. Yeah, it's true. Um, but also, it's just kind of, I guess it's maybe because of the dollar, but it also makes more than every industry it, it, in the world. It's because of the dollar yeah. and, and and because of uh, the fact that the, the really global cinema began in Hollywood. Yeah. So, so. it's deserving of that notoriety, but it's the rest of the world. really wonderful to see and hopefully more the, and more happens the with the world. The world does support Hollywood, but Way, Hollywood yeah. does not support the rest, the rest of, the of the world, world as much. They're getting a little bit They're better. They're getting a little better with Korean cinema. 
last year. RRR. Triple R got only, the... It was only RRR. Yeah. It was but only it, but RRR. But at least it was. But Korean cinema was probably the second most um, consumed thing in Hollywood. It's going to be interesting to see what's the next big... International. International well, film out of India. There's been like a Korean film every year now. Yeah, but I'm particularly interested to see. It very well could be Project K. It, it could be this. I think the next big one is going to be a spectacle because that's what people are now looking for with how good Triple R was. Yeah. So. Anyways, let, <coughs> let us know what you thought about the uh, glimpse. And if you're excited, so, what should be the next Surya film that we watch? Let us know down below. Just. <laughs>